As the tribe emerges from the dark, wet jungle, the tribe knows not what it will see. Bing! Two motorcycles, one big, one small, in the back of the Super Nissan Nissan machine. What's happening, tribe? I know I might have titled this video, How to Unload a Dirt Bike Like a Boass, but this is actually more of an audio test video for me. But I also am going to unload both of these bikes without the ramp. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know how the audio sounds. It's been a little bit of a saga. We're also shooting at 4K right now. Not for any other reason than just to play with 4K. I think I'm going to be using 2.7K at 48 frames per second for a while. And uh, see how that works out. But for now, I really want to test this audio out and see if it's... Okay, come on, neutral. Where are you at? Where are you at? Is that you? Nope. There you are. There you are. First, neutral. Okay. This video should actually also be called How to Unload a, <laughs> a Dirt Bike Like a Bow Ass if you're 6'5". Because you actually have to be able to reach the front handlebar. Pretty easy though. Grab the swing arm, tilt it over, roll it back, drop it, let go of the swing arm, and it's done. Isn't that right, Master Yodi? Does Master Yodi want to unload the other one? Does he want to unload the other one? Okay, let's, uh, <clears throat> first of all, let's see if this thing starts up. Nice. Yes, the idle is ridiculously high. It was fine yesterday, and then it, uh, just went haywire. I don't know. This bike needs, like, a little, a cool little eBay exhaust, and, uh, Perhaps some jetting to wake her up a little. But I don't know. How's the out? Oh my gosh! It's like it's got, it's like it's got cruise control. Why is it doing that? Huh? I don't know. She needs a little tuner. The bikes are both due for a little tune sesh. But for now, they're both just gonna get a. They're both gonna just get a bath and then get parked in uh, my shitty ass garage. Okay, on to the big bike. Where is the fuel? Fuel on. Oh, fuel was off. <laughs> Sweet. How does 4K look? How does uh, two point? How does uh, the audio sound? 2.7K audio. Um, what was I gonna say about 4K? Yeah, 4K is cool, but it doesn't, like a lot of you said, hold up in all that green craziness because the GoPro I have the Pro Tune on right now but the GoPro just doesn't it doesn't have the data to handle all of that craziness maybe the GoPro 5 or 6 with 4k at 120 frames per second will work well but other than that it's just going to be a 2.7k thing 48 frames per second I like it it looks good it's not uploaded at 48 frames per second, though. <laughs> okay, are we in neutral? Yeah. Okay, this one, a little bit trickier. Again, you have to be able to reach the front brake there. Grab the swing arm. And it's not, I don't know, I guess it's not very heavy, but you lean it up against your shoulder here. And then, okay, lean it up against your shoulder. Kind of just let your shoulder hold it. Drop. Cool. Done. Unfortunately, this bike is not going to start right now. Oh. But I just did order a, um, a rectifier regulator. It's pretty inexpensive, and even if it isn't that, I mean, it was like 20 bucks. So I figure the bike's got 28,000 miles on it. It's probably not a bad thing to change. But uh, I've changed this uh, case before, and this the electronics in there just don't look fun to work on. I hope it's nothing in here, but if it is, thanks to those of your kind donations that you sent in, I'll be able to change it. So thank you guys. Um, other than that, my shitty ass garage, international wall of love that's needing some love, more love. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys this, this uh, machine. Some of you may have not seen it before. This is my... 1976 KZ 900, which has not been uncovered in about eight months or so. Get a little shot of that. 
And uh, yeah, this bike is is close to running. It, <laughs> it needs either valve guides um, or rings or both. But there's a couple of local mechanics here on Maui that said they'd take a look at it. So hopefully sometime here in the new year, get this bad boy up and running again. And uh, yeah, do some vlogs on it. She sounds like uh, such a screaming rocket ship. The sound this thing makes is incredible. It's got four 28 millimeter Makuni carbs and they sound so delicious. It's a 900 cc super bike of the past. All right, Chai, that's about it. I'm kind of exhausted. I was cleaning up around here a little bit. I'm gonna get these bikes. I'm gonna get the idle on this one set up and cleaned. Um, I'm gonna clean up Athena and maybe go downtown and grab one of those voltage meters and start playing around with it and see what uh, what might be wrong with with Athena. She's like such a dirty girl right now. <laughs> Let me just quickly go over before I leave the stuff I I want to uh, work on with this bike here in the near future that you might not see. Um, I recently changed the front wheel bearings, so those are good, those are tight. Those were all loose and scary before. Um, this brake line, once upon a time, crimped. It only, it only destroyed the little plastic sheath over it, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, the brake line under that, which is a H-E-L, hell, brake line. It's, I don't know, I don't wanna mess with brakes, you know. <laughs> it's working okay but I think I just de definitely need to change this. Um, the rotors are good, brake pads are good. Uh, what else we got here? The clutch cable, I think I need to change pretty soon. It's just getting, it's starting to get that um, sort of stretched, ready to brake vibe to it. So I'm gonna change the clutch cable. Uh, my starter switch has been out forever, so. That needs to be installed, a new one. That's easy, that's plug and play. Uh, grips are okay, they're good. These kind of swirl around, might change the grips. Um, the rear wheel bearing, I don't know if you guys can see this. See that down there? Rear wheel bearings are going out, so I need to change those pretty soon. Uh, the chain is all right, it's good. Just needs to be cleaned up. Rear sprockets, good, needs to be you know, oiled and stuff. Front sprocket might need to be changed to pretty soon the teeth are starting to widen up and whatever. Uh, regular oil changes and all that stuff. This thing needs to be repacked badly. So I'm guessing I have to drill out all these rivets here and then repack it and then re-rivet it or bolt it or something. I don't know, maybe if you guys comment down below about how you repack an unserviceable can I can use that technique. <laughs> the front and rear suspension both need to be, uh, the back is starting to turn into a pogo stick. I don't know if you, you can tell from right here, but it's really loose until it hits about right there. And then it gets extremely tight. So I don't know what's going on inside of that, but I think that's about ready to go. Uh, this little situation, need to clean that up and tighten that up. Radiator's good. Uh, she just got an oil change recently. Um, the valves have been worked on within the last 5,000 miles, so that's that's still good. Um, the electronics, I hope I hope it's just the rectifier regulator and it's simple, but if it isn't, that might be a little a little more she needs. And yeah, either than that, other than that, I think the rear rim needs to be retrued up. Maybe just scratch the whole rear rim and get a different one. Kind of like the black one up front. And uh, yeah, then she should be back back into her tightly serviced feeling. But ma the major things are the rear shock. The front, yeah, they're okay. But the back one is really starting to get pogo-y. And then a new tire pretty soon. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this stupid short little audio test video. What are you doing, Master Yodi? What are you doing? Come say bye to the tribe. Come say goodbye to the tribe. Say bye to them. Are you kissing them? Is Yodi kissing them? Aw, oh, Yodi is so handsome. He's so handsome. All right, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Go, baby. Go, go. Open it. Open it. Get it. Get it. Go. Okay. I think. I don't know. I don't know.
run, run, run. Mr. Mike is out. I think he's gonna be back anytime soon. Oh my gosh. All right, Chad. Oh yeah, he's not here. Good. We're robbing Mr. Mike right now because we need some gloves. But, oh wait, oh, a new KLX 140L. Maybe we should jack that. Oh, there's a pit bull. Oh, uh -oh. there's a guard dog. Uh -oh. Good thing we know her. Hi, Nala. Hi. That's a good girl. And that's a good girl. Hi, Nala. Okay, got past the dog.